Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the next episode of the Women's Fishing Network, brought to you by Ghost to Eleven Media. I am your Tuesday host, Amanda Weeb. You can find me on Instagram at Wild Girls Alberta, and uh, we're back with another canoe episode. Uh, the weather is uh, a little bit treacherous this weekend, so it's not great for getting out on some of our stock trout ponds. Uh, I did make a nice visit there this week, though lucked out and caught a a beautiful brown trout and my first ever tiger trout which was very exciting but uh, it's windy it's cold kind of on and off rain and snow today so we are in the garage digging back in on the canoe I'm really feeling the time crunch to get this thing ready for open water season Uh, so yeah I'm buckling down really digging in here and uh, getting the show on the road so yeah this will be just a quick video I'm still working away at the uh, kind of seams and joints on this thing. Uh, I figured out that using the heat gun is super effective uh, for getting the silicone and the putty and the bondo and all that stuff away from it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of dig away at that for a little bit today with you guys um, and kind of just discuss what some of the plans are here. Uh, show you some of the products that I plan to use for resealing this beautiful vessel before we put a nice coat of paint on it. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Okay, so as I said, I figured out using a heat gun and a small flathead screwdriver to get into these uh, joints and seams is seeming to be really effective. Um, Yeah, there's lots of little Robertson screws here. That obviously was a quick fix by somebody. Um, So I'm likely going to take those Robertson screws out once I have this cleaned up and uh, replace them with pop rivets, which would have likely originally been what was there. Um, once I have those screws out, I might be able to peel those pieces of tin away, throw a little bit of silicone in there and just add that extra seal. Uh, but for the time being, we're going to worry about getting all of that junk out of there. Oh, I know what's missing. I'm gonna put my music in. I don't know about you guys, but I like working with music. You guys can listen along with me. Here we go.
All right, so I feel like we made some pretty excellent progress on this joint here. Oh boy, shaky camera, sorry guys. Good. So you can see I got it nice and cleaned up. Um, I'll give you an idea of what a before would have been, which is pretty ugly. Um, so yeah, I have, I'll just hoop. I have a couple spines left to do. Um, I'm just going to pick away at them. I'm hoping to get them all done tonight, but who knows? But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I got my work cut out for me here. Thankfully the heat gun is expediting the process, but, um, there's a lot of junk to take off of this canoe, but, uh, we are well on our way. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into the more exciting stuff, which is, uh, you know, filling in some of the dents, uh, painting it, making it look shiny and new. That being said, I'm going to quickly grab some of the products that I've found and uh, show you guys what I plan to use. And again, if you have any suggestions, um, if I should or shouldn't be using the stuff that I show you, please let me know in the comments if you know better. Um, honestly, when you look up canoe restoration or aluminum boat restoration, it's not really a ton of great info. Um, I'm not an aluminum welder, so um, I'm looking for simpler products to use. Uh, yeah, I'll quickly go grab those guys and give you guys a look. Okay, so one of the products that I bought, this I plan to reseal uh, the keel with, is a marine adhesive and sealant. It's a permanent bond with Extreme Flex. Uh, this is made by Amazing Goop. Um, yeah, it's clear, it's paintable, it's flexible. Um, yeah, I just, I want to put something along that keel seam, um, and I like the idea of it being flexible. Um, the biggest thing obviously is I want it paintable. So there's that. Um, we have this JB water weld. Um, so it's kind of like a, a putty or a paste. It sounds like I got to work it with my hands to get it nice and soft. Um, the intention behind this product is to fill some of the holes. But I'm starting to realize, um, just the significant amount of damage on this canoe. Um, I'm going to need a lot of it. <laughs> so I'm exploring other options for bondos. Um, yeah, if I can't find anything that seems more suitable, I'm just going to be, um, you know, going broke, buying a ton of this stuff. What do you do? Um, and then on the seams that I've been showing you guys, after I pop rivet them, um, I really want to cover them with a two-part epoxy, uh, something that's got some flex in it, uh, just to pr really protect those seams. Um, so right now I've got this JB Weld Marine Weld. It's a two-part epoxy. Um, this may or may not the be, be the best product for this, but I'm not really getting a straight answer from the research that I've done. I've even called a couple of boat shops and even, you know, they don't have a ton of intel to offer. So if you guys know better or have a, a hot tip or suggestion, drop it in the comments or hit me up on Instagram, uh, anything I would appreciate. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a labor of love and we're making progress and I'm super excited and I'm so excited to share this process with you guys. And yeah, I can't wait to get into this stuff. That's just like a little bit more uh, exciting maybe. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it very much, but that's going to be it for today. Um, yeah. So huge shout out to Rick from Ghost to 11 media. Thank you for the solid edits and support and all that good stuff. Thank you to our wonderful sponsors. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get back out on the water for you guys, film some quality fishing content, use some of that uh, sweet new gear that we've got in the past here, and uh, yeah, just bring exciting adventures to you. So uh, make sure you're checking out our stores, fishingandoutdoors.ca or .net if you are international, checking out the website, womensfishingnetwork.com, reading those blogs, checking out that easy, looking at the store, all that good stuff. But uh, until next time, you guys, I will see you next Tuesday.